Morning, uh, my name's Kevin Henney. Um, let's talk about testing. Let's talk about testing and why it's hard. Uh, there are many reasons that testing can be hard, and I'm going to focus on a specific kind of testing in a specific kind of context. Um, let's talk about unit testing, although many of these things generalize to integration, acceptance, and so on, uh, testing. Um, and of course, one of the things that can make things hard is culture. Um, you're in an environment that actively discourages it. Um, that's a very broad context. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. One of the reasons that people often give for testing being hard is your code sucks. You have high unmanaged technical debt, therefore the reason you're finding it difficult, the reasons the act of testing is being resisted, is qualities of the code base. Now that's not necessarily false, but it's also not necessarily true. Um, it's an easy answer, but it's not necessarily the only one. So let's zoom out a little bit. There are kind of two broad reasons. One is complexity, and the other is knowledge, or lack of knowledge, to be precise, ignorance. And with complexity, there are two kinds of complexity that we care about. Uh, this is originally identified, or characterized by Fred Brooks in the Mythical Man Month uh, extended remix, okay, the, uh, uh, the anniversary edition. Uh, the simple idea is that we have two kinds of complexity that we want to distinguish. Essential complexity and accidental complexity. Both of these can make testing hard. Let's start with the one that is kind of unnegotiable. Essential complexity. Uh, the essence of what it is that you're trying to do. The inherent nature of the problem domain. This is not to do with the quality of your code. This is to do with how hard is the actual problem domain. Okay? Hello world, that's essentially very simple. An accounting system is essentially more complex than that. A, um, uh, a, a safety critical um, flight based system, for example, is even more complex still. So this is nothing to do with how we tackle it, the technologies, uh, the degree of unmanaged technical debt or anything like that. It is just to do with the nature of the problem. As I said, this is not really negotiable. Um, sometimes things are hard because they're hard. So that's the bad news. Okay, let's move on to the one that is more negotiable. Accidental complexity. Accidental complexity is the complexity that comes from the style of our solution. The choice of our programming languages, the consequences of our architecture, all of these things. In other words, they are negotiable. It doesn't mean that you're in a position to easily negotiate them, but they are changeable. If you could imagine a software solution that did not have the accidental complexity or the complexities that you currently have, then those complexities are accidental, not essential. So. That's the one that when people say, hey, your code sucks, that's what your tests are telling you, or your difficulty of testing is telling you. Then there is lack of knowledge. Sometimes we don't know, well, there's two kinds here that I want to identify. One is you don't know how to test something. And obviously when you're starting out or learning a new framework, then that's a very obvious thing. I don't know enough to be able to test this. I'm sure there are people that can test it, but perhaps at that stage you're saying, I'm not one of them. I have to learn something in order to be able to test. But this is not just about being a newbie either to unit testing or to um, particular framework uh, or even a particular code base. This is sometimes about discovery and creation. Sometimes you're confronted with a kind of requirement or kind of behavior you're not sure how to test. Um, sometimes this is, and we can see this in terms of performance um, testing, but in other domains you may find that things are not so uniquely uh, or obviously characterized. Not everything looks like adding two numbers together like a lot of the um, blogosphere examples uh, of unit testing. Sometimes you're dealing with things that are either non-deterministic uh, or involve incredibly large amounts of data um, or involve uh, a series of approximations. You say, well, how do I actually test that? I can't just test that this equals that. It doesn't fit so easily into such a style. So half the challenge is actually discovering or uncovering, creating a way of testing stuff. Now, sometimes obviously these interact. One of the challenges you may have is with a legacy code base, and say, well, how do I test this? You may have to create or um, dig up techniques to do that. So that offers resistance, a lack of knowledge there. And the other lack of knowledge is, you're not actually sure what this is supposed to do. 
Now, curiously enough, you'd think that would be obvious. I don't know how to do this, therefore, I'm gonna go and have a chat with somebody, maybe it's the product owner, maybe it's the architect, maybe it's a, um, another developer who's more experienced than me. But that's not the way that things work in software development. Because we don't know something, it doesn't mean that we immediately stop and go, hey, I don't know this. Um, we're not necessarily very good at recognizing that. Because typically in development, we're also um, encouraged to be creative, and that's a positive quality. So if you see something you're not sure about, you create something, and sometimes that means you create behaviors that are not necessary. Or you just work on your assumptions. Oh, this should be like this. And so therefore you go ahead and you write code to do that. Now, sometimes people are less comfortable at writing tests to do that, because they say, well, that was just an implementation. I don't really know that that's what we require, so I'm not gonna commit it to a test. But wherever you feel that slight itch, or you have a series of questions, that's an opportunity to go and have a chat with somebody, to acquire that extra piece of knowledge that seems to be missing. So in summary, there are two broad reasons that we may struggle with testing. One is complexity, the other is ignorance. And in each of these, there are two categories of interest. One is that we have essential complexity that's inherent in the domain. We don't get to choose that. Um, we have to live with that one part of probably why we're trying to build the software. Then there's accidental complexity. That's the stuff that, if not immediately, over time, we can negotiate. This is your act of testing, telling you something about the code base. This is where you listen to your code base. And then we have a lack of knowledge. And that may be how to test something, or it may actually be, what is this actually supposed to do? So I will leave you with those thoughts uh, from Sunny Folkestone. Cheers.